So we are in my mom's front yard today. Uh, had a tree limb that fell here from the wind. I cleaned some of this up. So today we are going to be spraying some Poa Trivialis with some Velocity PM. And there's your Poa Trivialis. It's all right in here. Look at that big nasty. Shoo. Mm. So her yard is a turf type tall fescue. Uh, don't know what happened. This spot right here was here last year, but all these other spots, they were not here. Uh, and I did not uh, do airification, didn't overseed. Uh, simply because it was so dry last fall and she doesn't have irrigation So I don't know how all this come up, but it is what it is uh, Just never know about mother nature, but there's several several spots of it So we're gonna try some velocity p.m. today uh, You know, I'm gonna spray it and then 14 days later, we'll do another update video and uh, spray it again. So, stick around here and I'll uh, show you how to mix this stuff up and you know, tell you about the rates and stuff because it is very, very low rates and you'll have to have a syringe to measure this out. So, I'll be right back at you here and we'll get to mixing this stuff up and spraying. So what we got here, uh, we got a new flow zone. It's a two gallon. It's got the swappable tank. It's a pretty neat looking little sprayer. Uh, so we got a gallon of water. And this is uh, Velocity PM. Uh, my buddy Todd, he's a subscriber and He's in my Facebook group and he was uh, willing to give me two ounces of this to do a video on. So, Todd, I appreciate it. And uh, I guess if you enjoy my videos, everybody thank Todd for giving me this. Uh, you know, I, I don't have, luckily, humbly, I don't have any POA in my yard. So... There's just absolutely no use for me to buy this. I mean, it's $535 for a bottle. And my mom's got some, and he contacted me and asked me if I want to do a video, you know, in my mom's front yard. And I said, sure. So he let me have two ounces. Uh, Going to use a syringe. It comes with a syringe. Uh, this is not the syringe it comes with. But... The rate on this stuff is 1.1 ounces per acre. That's right, 1.1 ounces per acre for a fescue. So, the way we figure this up, I'm gonna try to do this while I'm holding my phone here. It's 1.1 divided by 43 point oops 1.1 divided by 43.56 43,560 square feet in an acre and we're going to hit equal so that comes out to 0 0.025 ounces per thousand square feet that's right 0 0.025 ounces per thousand square feet. So it's minute amount. 
Uh, you can't measure that out, so what we're going to do is we're going to take 0 0.025 and we're going to convert it. So uh, you can get a just, a, just type it in, uh, ounces to milliliters conversion on your phone. And you can see I got 0 0.025 fluid ounces and that comes out to 0 0.739 milliliters per thousand square foot. So we're spraying at a gallon per thousand and we got one gallon of water and we're gonna put in 0 0.739 milliliters in the syringe. And this stuff, uh, it says do not use a, surfa a surfactant, a juvenant. Uh, don't mix it with anything. Phone call. This guy, he's a millionaire. Calls me every day. Got a super nice yard. If he's watching, wants my opinion. His yard's nicer than mine. I don't know what's wrong with him. No, I'm just making fun of him. He's a good guy. Uh, so, like I said, we're using a syringe, and we're going to measure this out. But I can't do this and hold a camera, so you're just going to have to trust me. I'll show you how much is in the syringe. You can see there's 0.5, so we're going to go to as close as we can to 0 0.739 probably be closer to 0 0.750 but that'll be fine so I'm gonna get this drawn up here and I'll show it to you and then we'll go spray this stuff all right so I got that pulled up here uh, that's as close as I can get it to 0 0.739 uh, it's a little bit less than I don't know if you can see this just trust me it's it's really close to 0 0.739 so, like I mentioned, we're dealing, I had to convert this to milliliters. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this and I'm going to squirt it down here in my sprayer. I'm going to wash this syringe out. I'm actually going to pull a little bit of water up in the syringe to make sure I got it all out of there. Make sure you wear gloves doing this, folks. Unless you want three hands. Nah. You do need to wear gloves. when Anytime you're messing with uh, herbicides, fungicides, even fertilizer, make sure you wear gloves. So... I'm going to take the rest of this water, pour it here in my backpack sprayer, and you can see I am right at one gallon of water. According to that, marks might be off. I was dead on on the measuring cup, so we'll roll with it here. I'm going to put the lid back on. Give it a good shake. And then I'm going to turn it on here. Take my wand. Get it. Get it loaded up into one. And we're ready to spray. Make sure you do this right here when you're spraying. You, you know, you got to get it, if you sprayed with your backpack sprayer before and you washed it out, you know, you're going to have water in the line. So you need to, 
you know, prime it up with the actual product in it. So that's why I've done this right here to get it primed up into the uh, one. That way, when I first start spraying, I'm not spraying water. So I'm going to get this thing strapped on here and we'll go spray this stuff. All right, we're back again here. Uh, so what we're going to do here is we're going to start with that little spot. I got my one tip on here. And we're just going to make one little swipe. That's it. That's all you got to do. Go over here to this ugly joker here. Done. It would probably be a good idea to use dye doing this. I don't have any right now, so I can't do it. This thing right here is loaded full of this stuff. It's hard to see right now. So I don't have any experience with this stuff. Uh, I might have to hit that one. Whatsoever, being it's so new. So I don't, you know, I'm just as curious as you folks are about this stuff. If it's the miracle POA, It's a big old spot. If it's the uh, miracle cure for Poa Triv, Poa Annua, I don't know. So I guess we'll see in 14 days if it's having any effect. It says this could take two apps. I've heard reports it could take more than that. I don't know. We'll just have to see. I know one thing. My allergies are fired up. I'm in a good hobby to have allergies. There's more in here than I thought there was. All you need is one swath, unless it's, you know, uh, it's the first time I ever used this tip, and it's not very wide, so some of these bigger areas I'm having to Hit it twice to go over it, to cover it all. My mom's yard actually used to be really nice, but she just don't want to put the money into it. And that's fine, it's her yard. Uh, this thing gets eat up with fungus every year because of this shade but you know she don't want to spray preventative fungicide but you know out here in the sun I mean it doesn't look doesn't look too bad I, I did put a half a pound of nitrogen per thousand with a granular so over here some Right 
There's um well, that's all that I see here. Make sure I hit this spot right here. Nope, I missed that one. Did I get this one. Yeah, I got that one. Let's try this on some uh, Poa Annua. Poa Anna, Poa Annua. See what. And I'm going to tell you, in between mine and hers is pure shit. Just to be completely honest. See how it's Poa Anna? We'll spray a swath here, see what happens. Come back to that also. Uh, I won't even wear the same shoes. If I walk through this, I won't even wear these shoes in my yard. Uh, a lot of people's ask about this area right here. This is nothing more than a weed barrier for my yard. It's nothing more than a weed barrier to try to keep that crap from getting in there. And yep, I gotta do some mowing and weed eating this stuff today. And this is right here, this is the exact same thing. It's nothing more than a weed barrier. You know, when you live on a farm and it's, you know, the farm's basically my uncle's down there and, and there's, you know, he, he cares absolutely nothing about grass. So, you know, I do mow that. That's my building, it's the old farm building, but you know, I'm not gonna sit here and try to make everything grass I, I can't maintain it just don't have the time nor the money to do all this uh, but so that's pretty much going to wrap it up for this video uh, we'll check back on that in 14 days and we'll look at the progress uh, I mean it clearly states it's going to take multiple apps but Maybe it'll be dinged up pretty good in 14 days and uh, we'll spray it again. So I appreciate you watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.